Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep here, back again, and today we are here with uh, my favorite archetype, with heroes, and in particular with Neo. So I'm here with Jaded Bell to show you a fun deck that I'm using uh, actually on the cl um, to climb on the ladder. So um, uh, I'm I'm not sure it can be it can uh, bring you to Cog at the moment, but if you wait at least a week, um, it might definitely be able. So uh, just uh, wait for it so before I jump right into it um, uh, just a quick reminder guys if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's see now the deck list uh, let's start actually from the skill it's a uh, one dead hero for all who do not know what it does it's pretty easy you can play one elemental hero from your deck um, with attack equal or less to the total amount of damage that you took uh, that you have taken so far in the duel and you can use it only once per duel keep in mind that the elemental hero will be taken from your deck so you actually need to have it in your deck this skill you we, uh, we will use this skill to actually bring out the neos if we need it so there you go, pure Neos, no invocation, no invoked, no purgatorio, nothing, just pure Neos. I love it. So, um, let's actually focus on the extra deck. We have three brave Neos, that's, you know, the core. Then we have our ace monster, Storm Neos. Why it's so good? Because it can destroy once per turn all the spell and trap cards on the field hand uh, when he, he has an effect as all the fusion the normal uh, you know the typical fusion neos monsters uh, that in the end phase if you do not have neo space and we do not have neo space because we are playing wanted hero he gets to return he had to he has to return back to the extra deck but when he does shuffle all cards on the field into the deck so you can deal with everything so um, of course face up spell cards um, non targeting non targetable monsters uh, non destructible monsters everything it's amazing so uh, of course because of the fact that he comes back into the extra deck of course you can recycle it and use back it again if you manage to summon him back again then we have an Aquanius just to uh, you know destroy and break your opponent's combo from his starting end as you will see in the first replay and then we have Glonius just to destroy some annoying face up cards on the field it can be a monster, a spell card, a trap card you know just to be sure we have an out to everything then this is the deck list, the core, Neo Space Connector, um, is alone can of course um, make you have a good comeback because on someone he will special summon a Neos or a new Spation from the deck and also he can tribute himself to special summon a new Spation or a Neos from your graveyard so uh, him alone can also let you have a contact fusion. Then we have Neo Spation Aqua Dolphin with a really good effect because um, if you start as, as first hand you have new Spation Aqua Dolphin on the, seal, on the field you actually get to see what your opponent has in his hand so really good then we have new Spation Herr Hummingard that let us have access to Storm Neos and uh, of course he has also a good effect that lets you uh, especially if you break in your starting hand to um, uh, gain life points and maybe not to be uh, and maybe can avoid uh, the OTK in the, in the first turn then we have Glomos that let us have access to uh, Glonius and is really really good uh, of course can stall your opponent out um, then we have um, elemental hero of course only a couple are enough because we have new space connector that can bring out him so easily of course a couple of news fusion uh, only a couple of cards it's semi limited a couple of miracle contact that can recycle monster from the grave and also keep in mind guys having a new space connector and a miracle contact means in your starting hand means that you have access to a brave Neos actually because you can activate Miracle Contact to shuffle back into the deck the Neos Space Connector and the, and the Neos you have just summon it to go for the, for the summon. Then we have one generation next to uh, just in case we need a, a particular Neos patient from our deck or the Neos if we have um, uh, a, if we are in a bad spot so we have there's a, um, a lot of difference in LPs between ours and our opponents then we have our part of grid, maybe it's even better, Covenant Contact, discard one new spation to 
uh, uh, send another one from the deck and draw two cards so amazing card only two guys and also keep in mind that generation next can also help you add a new species to your hand to be able to activate combat contact and then one of the best cards for the near support next this card is so good cause it can be activated from the hand if you control no cards so uh, your opponent cannot prevent you from summoning by cycloning him or destroying or banishing he cannot because you will have it in your hand and your opponent cannot know uh, and what it does uh, when you activate it you can special summon um, the, as many as you can different names new species and neos so if you have a, at least a couple of new species in the neos you can actually uh, fill up the field maybe have all success to a contact fusion or you can just it uh, as a as a protection uh, if your opponent is swinging in so guys this is the deck list uh, now let's jump right into the duels there we go guys first match in this case you will see that i was still playing neospace as a skill but then uh, it turns out that wanted hero was actually better so it is against a blackwing player as you can see and this uh, can show you how uh, starting first um, and you know using the effects of new species aqua dolphin and aqua neos can actually fuck up the uh, the hands of uh, also a good player with a good deck so by discarding the two core cards as you can see right here I discarded a Simone this was by choice because with Neo Spishion you can you can actually choose which monster to destroy uh, then I was lucky because with the effect of Aqua Neos you can just discard one random card from your opponent's hand and in this case I was really lucky to pull off a black whirlwind so as you can see right here I break his hand and what happens is that also I know which card he has in his hand because with thanks to Neo Spishion Aqua Dolphin you get to see what your opponent is playing so Neo Spishion Aqua Dolphin in turn one is actually actually insane then I went for uh, the effect of new space connector then contact fusion another Aquanius I know that this was an Arashi and I can just you know attack nothing to do for him I just uh, destroyed his uh, initial starting hand so that's all second duel against Aigami so guys, if you have not checked my cubic videos, just go check it out, really nice. So, he's starting with only a set card right here, pretty good to me, I have a good hand. You know, every hand that has a new space connector can actually be quite good. I top decked into a combat contact, go for the good draws, and then it went even better, I went for the play. So new space connector. When you have new space connector in your hand and you have a a new, spa a new space in monster in your graveyard, this means that with only the new space connector you are able to make a contact fusion. There you go. New space connector. Special summon Neos and summon. Activity its effect. Tribute and special summon new space in Aqua Dolphin. Go Again, guys, first turn new speech Aqua Dolphin is insane. The Scar Generation next. So I got I get to see his uh, his whole hand. He has two invocations, so he's kinda bricked and a rescue roid. I destroyed it, I destroyed it. 500 damage, then went for the contact fusion. Discarded the next. But here he has floodgate. Unlucky, I had also a Neos Fusion. There you go, I can attack. With no problems now I know guys he has two invocation and he only needs to draw an Alistair but he tapped text into an lava golem he said this invocation but maybe he forgot that I knew that this was that this was these were two invocations so actually a bluff that was useless I took the damage for lava golem but he has nothing so I can just go for 300 damage directly really nice another I got me right here that's because of course a lot of people were trying to farm him of course he's playing good decks as you can see there was an invocation player 
So this is actually a bad hand, cause to convert contact no new spatial monster to this card, so uh, we are kinda bricked, but we have next, so with next we activate it from our hand, that's why it's so good. Just in case he's gone is going to OTK us. And turns out is he actually is. It's a black wing player. He goes all in, but I can activate my next and special summon my Neos on the field just to protect me. So there you go. Uh, no damage. I could actually wait it for you know uh, take um, a, a huge amount of damage, maybe you know a couple of attacks just to trigger my one dead hero. But I thought it was not the case. So I top deck into a news fusion, there you go. And started to swing in. He has a lens, but this lens uh, will not prevent news from destroying his monster. Thanks to my news fusion, I can keep my, ne my brave news on the field and add another news fusion. There you go, nothing. So as you can see, this was an example uh, of a starting end where you have kinda bricked. Uh, you know, you just need, um, you have a lot of cards that, you know, through Cologne, they can help you survive in a bricked hand. There you go, fourth duel, Yugi Muto against Jaden. I'm the first. Let's see what I'm drawing. There you go, this is actually a perfect end, because having a new space connector and a miracle contact means that you have access to a brave Neos even without your Neos fusion. There you go, I went for the play, Neos space connector, but I went for the summon of Neos space aqua dolphin because I wanted to see his hand, I wanted to know uh, which deck I was playing against. And um, I decided to use Neos Fusion first because I had enough attack on the field to destroy actually a monster my opponent has in hand. There you go. And also, uh, by sending a Neos Fusion um, Air Hummingbird, I set my play for the next turn because I have a Miracle Contact and now I can access to Storm Neos, that's the haste card of this deck. Here you go. Effect. And I destroyed, I picked up the Christ, I picked up a Christian player, so destroying this C3 was actually a really good move. So again Aqua Dolphin destroying another monster, other 500 damage, then I went for the Storm News player, just wanted to get rid of the um, of the trap card he had. And I don't know why he didn't activate it in response. He could have actually saved himself, but he decided not to. And there you go, that's lethal. Also because of course, activating uh, life barrier will not have, uh, you know, uh, put him in a good position. He would have had no cards in his hand, only one card in next turn. And Christos cannot do um, a lot with only one card. There you go. F fifth duel, Jaden against Dane. This time I'm, I'm gonna start second. Let's see. So, what we have here. Cyber Dragon player, so no surprises right here. It goes for the Cybernetic Fusion support and just a set card. So my hand right here, let's see it. It's uh, it's good because I have a new space connector. I have a Miracle Contact, so I have access to uh, Brave Neos and also Aqua Neos, of course. And I have an X as a defense, so I'm quite good. But I top decked into a combat contact, so I can just set the play here for whatever car, for whatever extra deck monster I need. I can also go for a Glonius. I can go, I can go for an Aquanius for everything I need. There you go, convert Neos. I set the play for a Storm Neos. Then Neos Space Connector that goes into the Neos. There you go. Then new space connector goes for her hummingbird. Why I made this play? Because I actually wanted to have more life points. Because you know, cyber dragons are a famous deck to OTK you. So if you have a lot of life points, you can, you know, be sure that you have at least one other turn. So that's really important, guys. New space and hummingbird can seem a bad card, but it can actually help you survive one more turn and maybe draw the cards you need. Because this deck has a lot. Um, there's a lot of alone cards that can help you, um, you know, uh, have a really good comeback. 
There you go, new special hammer arming god for the good suck. I waited for his set card. I was afraid it was a cybernetic overflow, but it turns out it's only an offering to the zoom. He destroyed my Aeneas, but it's fine because guys, we're chilling right now because we have next. So once he destroys our new Spision Air Hummingbird, we can always special summon a lot of monsters on the field up to three because we have two new Spisions and the Neos. He goes for the play, Chimera Rampage Dragon, he thinks he has it, but keep in mind that he still does not have it, cause he, of course, maybe he didn't pay attention, but I have 5500 5, life points, so even if I will never summon anything, he will, never, will not have been um, able to uh, finish me in one turn, so... Maybe he didn't pay attention to that. And in fact, I just let the attacks go through because I didn't care. And now, guys, I also have the chance to activate Wounded Hero. And he actually surrendered because uh, he knew he fucked up right here, guys. And also, as you can see, I also top decked into a Neos Fusion. I could make so many plays right here. I could go for a Miracle Contact or a Next, actually. So uh, maybe I could have uh, used Next to go for the Storm Neos to clear the field. Then go for a Neos Space Connector, Summon a Neos, a Miracle Contact, a Brave Neos, there you go. Then Neos Fusion, so up to three Fusion Monsters in one turn. Last duel, Paradox Brothers. Uh, I don't remember what it is actually. Let's see. Balance. So maybe they are Triamids. And here, guys, you can see this is more than a good hand. I started with just a news fusion. I just wanted to, you know, um, uh, wait in on my Miracle Contact. And I sent a Neos Pigeon Air Hummingbird. Why? Because I just wanted to set the play for the Storm Neos. I, you know, I thought you, you, you can, you could be a Trimid player. So I need Storm Neos to clear the back rows and the field spell. So I sent a new Pigeon Air Hummingbird because I played two new Pigeon uh, Aqua Dolphins. So there's an higher chance of drawing that instead of a new Pigeon Air Hummingbird. There you go. Instead, it is. A, um, a Dark Magician player, actually maybe with a full combo. I went for the play, I decided to go for a Glonios because I actually wanted to destroy his Dark Magical Circle, but he, know, he knew uh, the effect of Glonios, so actually he's a good player. Activate the effect of uh, Navigation, Special Summon his uh, Dark Magician and Bat, but he actually had right here maybe made a mistake because my Glonius would have come back to the extra deck in the end phase, so he could have actually banned, uh, banished my uh, Brave Neos. So I went for the attack. Brave Neos had a Neos Fusion, and guys, I'm chilling. Why I'm chilling? Cause. I have a news, uh, I have a next in my hand and also I got to had a news fusion and turns out and turns out he has a jar of greed so guys maybe he's just one of the uh, maybe he's a viewer on my channel cause um, I played a, I uploaded a video of a dark magician balance deck with jar of greed so check it out He activated the spell High Optimus, goes for the Dark Cavalry. This is kind of a bad situation to me. And also, he uses Kiko, so he top tech into a Kiko, and in this way, I cannot banish my Neos Fusion to protect my Brave Neos. I protected himself. Why I did this, guys? Because I did want him to banish um, neither Neos Fusion nor Neos Pigeon Air Hummingbird from my deck because actually Storm Neos is my only out to a Dark Cavalry. So I needed him not to uh, banish my Neos Pigeon Air Hummingbird because Kiko, when inflict damage, can um, banish up to two, car two monsters from my graveyard. There you go, he attacks my Neos Pigeon here, Hummingbird. I went for the Neos Fusion play and I sent 
uh, new special aqua dolphins. So right now, guys, I need uh, a miracle contact, or I can also have a next. But guys, I'm gonna go for my brave Nias, destroying the Kiko and adding the miracle to contact. So I'm actually really, really in a good spot. Here you go. There's your comeback. He said uh, a couple of back rows. Go for the piercing damage. And there you go. I'm here. Miracle contact for the play. He activated Illusion Magic actually to add Dark Magician. Uh, maybe he has a, a Magician Navigation. But activate the effect of Ultimate Typhoon so that uh, he actually needed to um, put his toggle on so that he could have activated magician navigation once he had the uh, the magician the dark magician in his hand and not waiting for me to activate elemental hero storm in as a fact but because of the fact he waited uh, I'm actually going to destroy his um, his circle so he does not get to banish Activate the tree. I triggered the skill. There you go. Neos on the field. A lot of big beaters. And it's all I need. I also got to search an X to be covered up just in case. But of course, he has nothing because that card is a dark magician. And there you go, guys. Nuts. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. Feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, see you in the next one. Thank you.